Hey guys, what's up? Back to you with an update on the Nuva 10 Fusion. It's been about two weeks since my last video. I haven't added anything new to the tank yet. I'm gonna go to the shop this Friday and probably get some stuff. That's when he said he'd be in with some new items and corals. Uh, I have been in there a couple times just to talk to him. I go to this uh, coral store in Tustin, although I live in Costa Mesa. It's just the best one I found around since there are some local ones but they just don't have the best quality stuff and I don't really like the way they maintain their tanks and stuff um but anyways uh been seeing some good coral growth uh fish are doing healthy uh crabs doing well shrimp doing well just fed the tank about 30 minutes ago 30 minutes ago about 10 minutes ago he's still munching on a Oh, no, he's done now. He had a little algae piece that he was eating. Um, let's see, what's new? I did pick up the Hannah Checker that for the calcium. Uh, first day, it was three, it was, I tested it, it was 375. I added a bit of the refoundation, the, the A1, like 0.2. Today, I tested it, it was three, 398 which is pretty good. Um, Alkalinity's been stable, I've been dosing the B1. Uh, I can, my tank's been dropping 0.1 a day about, so I dose like one milliliter, raised it uh, 0.35, so I add about half a milliliter every two days or so. Um, when I got the calcium checker he gave me deinos water because you do need it for the test kit in order to it's like step one you add a little bit of the reagent and then it's one milliliter of reagent and then nine milliliters of the uh deionized water so he threw that in for me which was nice i didn't have to go to the store and buy any but you can go to the store and just buy distilled water um and he said it'll work the same oh feeding the tank i i feed the clownfish this ultra soft marine uh, clownfish food by Fauna Marine. It's about the same size as the I used to use the uh, Spectrum. You can see it's about the Spectrum one milliliter sinking one. It's pretty hard though, and then I've I've been using this one for a while now. I think I've had this actually bottle for since I've gotten the fish actually. What has it been? Four, five months now. But I barely used well, any of it. Let's see if I can. Yep, it's probably to like right here, if that. Because I've been trying to feed the fish less, two to three pellets every other day. But they do love it. They were starting to shy away from this food, and they would just like spit it out. And when I, when I switched to this one, they just gobble it right up, and it's, I think they just like it because it's so soft. Uh. Uh, I was noticing some hair algae underneath the Montipora, and instead of just trying to clip it and pull it out or worrying about it spreading, I just put putty over it because I didn't place the Montipora very well and he was sticking off like an edge, so he wasn't really going to grow. And I want him to cover the rock at least a little bit more, so I put some putty to support it and make it easier for him to jump onto the rock. I'll show you guys a side shot. So you can see what I'm talking about. It just lines up, butts up right to him, so he'll be able to hop onto it and then hop onto the rock. Um, I'll show you the back because everything's still the same. Got my in-tank media basket. I do want to add some more uh, Seachem Matrix to the bottom rack. I keep forgetting to buy some when I go to the fish store. Uh, that, my Innovative Marine Reactor. Uh, it's full of just carbon right now. I actually have my reminder on to change it tomorrow because I did change it when it had Fosgard in it when I got this, uh, the Chemi Pure 6.5 one uh, to just put carbon in there, but I forgot to pick up more Fosgard. Dumb of me. Uh, still using the Auto Top Off by Innovative Marine. I wipe down the the probes every once in a while just to they don't get build up. Um, still using chiller. You can see it's 78.2. It was really came in handy over this past week when it was freaking hot. 
<clears throat> um, let's see. Alkalinity, I said, was stable, 8.4. Temperature has been consistent with the chiller. Uh, phosphates have gone down drastically. It's 0.05. Oh, I did raise the intensity on the tank of the light. I took it up about 5%. Not too much. But the fish store guy told me to run it at... They run theirs at like 100. And they have this exact same tank with the same light. They just don't have the controller. They just leave it on 100% for 7 hours. And then turn it off. They don't run any whites, he said. Um, but I kind of like the whites. So I'm probably going to stick to you. A lower intensity overall and use some whites. Um, but I do leave, I have this, the controller if you didn't know, let's give you a shot of that. Um, I leave it at, I leave it on now with the moonlight at 5% so I can see the tank when I come home at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, or whenever, just even when I wake up in the daytime and I can see it lit instead of just a dark tank. It wasn't too great. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to work on taking the intensity up to probably about 85%, I would say. Is that like 70, I think, right now with the increase? MP10, running on the lowest setting, reef crest mode. Um, I have two of the CG, uh, pumps. One running the, that guy, the slipstream nozzle. And then one running my chiller. And then just looking to get looking forward to getting some new corals this Friday when they get some new stock in. And I'll have to make another video in case I get anything else. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. If you want to know anything, leave a comment. And I'll be back to you soon with an update. Later guys.